Kiki Y. She was up on the Copic case and she jumped off that way and it kicked the case out. Kiki! Uh, at least, you know, not really that many compartments actually got emptied. I was in the middle of cleaning up in here too when this happened. I just put away a ton of markers, which I hate doing. Now I get to do it again. At least the surface survived. So I'm doing more wedding dress research. Here's a list of wedding shops that are all along the same street within like four blocks in a four block span down the street. There are all these wedding shops. So I'm just kind of looking up each one on their website and making some notes about them. <laughs> Ghetto website, but it has some nice lace top dresses, no poof skirts. <laughs> okay, this one is not a dress shop, it turns out. So we'll just scrub all that one out. So the one place I really liked, they actually moved their store to Prince George. So I'm like, no, that's way too far away. Anyway, uh, I have two places I want to book appointments at. The one place just does appointments online only. So I filled out the form with like the day and time I want. And then I'll wait for them to get back to me. And then once they do, then I'll book the appointment for the next one. Because I want them to be the same day if possible while my mom and sister are visiting. And so, yeah, now I just wait. I also just responded to a whole bunch of emails, so got that out of the way, but I haven't even showered yet, so I should go work out and get showered. Remember, I fold out, and I can really bone that fold. It's time for me to bone some folds. Yeah, I'm just kneeling on the ground here while Midna has the chair. Before I start on anything, I actually need to vacuum, so I'll do that. So I'm on the hunt for my double-sided tape because it's obviously not in the packaging where it should be. Anyway, long story short, the top drawer is breaking again. The bottom is popping out. I had to pop it back in, but I need to fortify it before I put stuff back in. This is the derpy drawer that previously broke right here and so you know it's seen better days but I guess I'll just fix it again now for that tape I don't really know where it is I used it in the toy room last on the calico critter house but I just looked in here and I couldn't find it oh, it's right there I looked there <laughs> ah well you know you know how these things go. Okay, now I go vacuum. I'm trying a couple things here. One, I'm using the pin board as a background for the video, which is why I bought it. And I lowered the camera so it's not as high as usual. So we'll see how this goes. I mainly wanted to do this because of live streams when I hang the webcam off the end of it. It's too far away and I can only zoom in a teeny amount on the webcam, plus it's a digital zoom, so that's not very good. It's just pixelating everything. So I thought I would uh, just try lowering the camera, even though I'm not live streaming today. I'll be streaming tomorrow though, and see how this goes for the filming setup. I like how this morning I was tidying everything up and now this place just looks like this. Christian and I were just trying to find the charger for my old laptop and um, can't find it anywhere <laughs> so kind of tore this place apart and other rooms well there other rooms are still clean I guess but this was messy just from general stuff but a few extra things got pulled out over there we never did find the charger though so i'm wondering if i threw it out once by accident because i know i've gotten rid of cables and stuff before so uh, 
I haven't really seen it. I haven't used that computer in forever, not since before we moved, so. I'm just waiting for some stuff to dry and this lip gloss was just sitting over there so I decided to put some of my fancy tape on it. Some of this stuff. So shiny. Well, here's what I did today. Oh baby. How can I not rub that tummy? What? <laughs> so, one thing I've realized since owning this camera, the G7X Mark II, is that I struggle to film with it compared to my G7X. And I've played around the settings, I've tried setting everything to manual, and like, I've looked around in the settings, and I've done a lot of things, but I can't get it to stop trying to auto adjust everything even when I have like everything set to manual it's really annoying <sighs> it's mostly a problem for art videos I think it was in the Beauty and the Beast watercolor painting I had some up close shots and the brightness kind of just kept constantly flickering because the camera was adjusting and when you speed up the clip it just you know just feels like a constant flicker and that was really annoying or sometimes the whites would just kind of get blown out and I feel the pain also just like I'm for example I was trying to film these books and I was trying to get a good shot of them but the the whites always just look blown out and then if I try to darken everything it just the whole thing looks dark you know it's just like ugh. I feel like it's an auto levels kind of thing but I can turn auto levels off there's also like auto white balance, auto lighting, there's all kinds of these auto settings and I just, I just can't get it to look good. Like my old camera I feel like was better for filming the art video close-ups and stuff, but I don't, know. I don't know. I guess I could keep playing around with it. It's still relatively new and I haven't filmed that many art videos with it, so I guess, you know, it might just require more practice on my part. Having the camera lower was kind of nice for today's video because it didn't need to be super zoomed out or anything like that. And even if I was recording something bigger, it could just be kind of like close-ups throughout the entire video and at the end show the full thing, you know, that might work. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Test the webcam thing and see how that goes. Now for the stuff I did today, I'm going to edit this tomorrow. The original plan was film and edit this today. But I'm going to hold off one more day, which I can. I have to submit this by the 18th. So I'm going to submit it on the 17th, which is tomorrow. So, um, because this is a sponsored video, I need to submit it for approval. <laughs> which is why I'm doing this earlier than the Tuesday stream. Because I could have done this in the Tuesday stream. It would be a bit different. But, yeah, anyways. Uh, I'm not going to do it tonight, though. It's 11.36. So... I'm just gonna go to bed. Christian's heading to bed too, so I'm like, you know what? I don't want to stay up and edit this, so I'll edit this in the morning. Like, look how crappy this lighting is right now. Like, camera, what are you doing? Even with the light off, that looks cruddy. Like, what's wrong with you, camera? Like, turning the ISO down works to a certain extent, but like, the whole thing gets dark. And it auto adjusts based on where I'm moving it, right? Like, I move it over there, it's dark and then bright. I feel like I haven't filmed much today, but really all I did was a bunch of wedding stuff and then worked on this, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I wish I needed these, these are pretty, oh these ones are stars, oh, so cute. Oh, I want you, but I have no use for you. I mean, I can find a use. It's glitter. Star-shaped. Oh, next time. I need tape, but I need wide tape.